Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on an NPC shop using a scoreboard as currency. And this tutorial is taking place in 1.20 and I expect that it should continue to work past that. So you can see on my screen here I have a money display. If you guys are looking to display your currency or set up a currency system, I have a bunch of different videos on that. Um, I'll throw the scoreboard currency display link in the description here but this video is assuming you guys already have a currency system set up and you were hoping to set up some shops with NPCs this video is going to be using a scoreboard as the currency while I did a previous video which I'll throw a link in the description over here and this one was using items so without further ado let's get into the scoreboard currency systems for this NPC shop so the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up a scoreboard objective so we're going to go ahead in the chat and we're going to go scoreboard objectives add and the one that we're going to be using in this example is money you can name this whatever you'd like but you're going to need to change the word money in all the commands here so we're going to add money dummy and you can see that an objective with the name money already exists for me it should say one was added for you so the first guy over here is a normal scoreboard npc shop and he's going to just be giving you items with a give command so any normal item um, that you wanted to do you could use this if you guys are using a special item like a enchanted book a named item an enchanted item a custom thing any kind of fun stuff like that you're gonna want to use one of these next to style here but let's go over this guy first so let's go ahead and actually purchase from him here we're gonna buy a potion for five points on the scoreboard I right now you can see I have forty dollars so we're gonna purchase that I now have thirty five dollars and I've received a potion of swiftness it came up in the chat with a green message saying I got shift swiftness and I got a good sound now if I did not have any money so let's go ahead and set my money to zero so now I have no money and if I try to use this it yells at me with a negative sound and says not enough money so the way that we do that here is gonna be all inside the NPC advanced commands we're gonna hit add command and we're gonna add one of these little setups here and then we're gonna put it on button mode if you guys are unfamiliar with NPCs completely and you're saying well Arctic how do I even get an NPC real quick let's go ahead and summon an NPC to our position and now I have an NPC and we're going to go ahead and look at it and we're going to pick block it for a spawn egg and now you can put it wherever you want and now you have one and then you're going to jump in here like we did here you're going to hit add command we're going to go button mode you could also do on enter or on exit if you wanted to do a different type of command with the NPC but most of the time for a shop you're going to be on button mode so then let's get into the actual commands here let's open up the full menu and you can see we're running one two three four five six different commands inside of this NPC here for a basic give item and the first one here is forward slash tell at an initiator scores equals money equals dot dot four and then it says not enough money so what that means is anybody with four points or less will receive that message anybody above that will not receive that message and by the way I'll go ahead and throw the commands for this video in the description as well as I know it gets kind of confusing when they're all smashed together in a paragraph like this and the second command is forward slash play sound mob dot gas dot scream at initiator scores equals money equals dot dot four and again this one is going to only run at somebody who does not have enough money so if you're going to run any additional commands at somebody without enough money you're going to want to put them at the beginning of this system before you do the positive commands that way at the end of the system we can take their money away the third command here is the actual command that's going to give the item and it's forward slash give at initiator scores equals money equals five dot dot and then I did a potion for our item type one is our quantity and 16 is the data and that means it's just a potion of swiftness and five dot dot means anybody with five points or higher will receive that item and all the rest of the commands from this point on in this example are going to have five dot dot so that way all those commands only run at somebody who actually had enough money and then this is forward slash tell at initiator scores equals money five dot dot 
and then it's one swiftness potion received. So that's my custom positive message that's going to the player. And then we have forward slash play sound random dot level up, and that's the positive sound at initiator scores equals money equals five dot dot. And then here we're gonna actually remove the five points from the player. So we're gonna go scoreboard players remove at initiator scores equals money equals five dot dot. And then we're gonna remove money five. So if you use a different name for your currency system, you're gonna wanna just replace all the words money in this entire command with your objective name. All right, and then you can use this for any item type that you'd like, any normal item type that is. If you guys were hoping to do like a custom item type over here, we're gonna be selling a named enchanted weapon and we're gonna be using a structure load to do it. If you guys are making a simple little shop and you just have a couple of items, this is a good way to do that. If you have a massive currency system, I don't recommend making a ton of structure files. I recommend using a clone barrel loading system which I'll show you guys next so stick around for that and in here we're gonna go ahead and buy a bow so if we click the buy button here you can see oh actually we have not enough money so then we're gonna go ahead and test the negative system again but let's go ahead and give ourselves a hundred points here just so we do have enough money and then we're gonna go ahead and buy a bow and you can see it took 25 points away from me and it gave me a fire bow quote unquote which already has enchantments and stuff on it so with the way that I did that is I got myself a structure block and I set that on one on the X one on the Y one on the Z and an offset of one I included entities and I hit save to disk and then the name of the structure that I chose in my case is NPC underscore bow then I threw the I threw the bow floating down on this structure block like this and when you can see the bow inside the boundary box floating there you know you've done it then you hit save and your structure has been saved of that floating bow and that's how we're going to load this custom item at the player in this case so now we're going to go ahead and jump into the npc advanced settings again and you can see i have it on the button mode again and then it's pretty much the same setup that should look familiar to the one that we did a minute ago except for you can see that my first two commands I set it at 24 because I've changed the price of this bow to cost 25 so you're going to want to make sure again to just set that price one underneath what the actual cost is and then you can see the first command was a tell command the second one was a play sound and those are identical to the first system we just did except for that price and then third command we replaced the give command with the execute structure load so i did execute at a player within a radius of five scores equals money equals 25 dot dot because that's how much this bow cost is 25 and then we're going to run structure load npc underscore bow so that was the name of the structure that we just did over there a minute ago and then i did tilde tilde one tilde so that's going to load at my player's position one block above where i'm standing so it should be a safe spot to load and then we're going to run the same series of commands that we ran last time. We're going to do a positive tell message. Tell initiator scores equals money equals 25. I did fire bow receive for my message. Excuse me. And then I did a forward slash play sound random dot level up at initiator. Scores equals money equals 25. And that is the positive noise. And then we're going to go ahead and remove those 25 points from the player again. Scoreboard players remove. At initiator scores equals money equals 25. Money 25. So don't forget if you guys use a different objective to change the objective name or if you use a different price to change that price amount in all those commands. And then this here is going to be the clone barrel system. So it's gonna sell us that exact same bow here. We're gonna go ahead and click buy bow. And you can see I received the bow again. And the reason is we actually set up a barrel underneath this NPC. So you can see he's standing on a piece of smooth stone and then two blocks underneath him is a barrel and then three blocks underneath him is nothing, just an empty space. So you're gonna to wanna to set your NPC up like that and then this system, if you're gonna copy and paste it, is good for one item inside the NPC. If you're gonna do up to six items, you're gonna to need to adjust the offsets a little bit on this and you can just keep stacking them below him if you have enough room. But for the one barrel setup, basically how that works here is we're going to go into the advanced settings again. And unfortunately, I actually have so much going on in this one that it runs off of the menu. 
but I'm going to go ahead and like I said throw these in the description for you guys if you're going to copy and paste them as well as if you're stuck you can jump in the shark commanders and I should have this broken down a little bit more easily to read as well as we're just going to jump in the other NPC to show you at the end of this but anyways we have the basic starting setup again where we have those first two commands that are negative and this thing costs 25 points just like the last setup did so the first two are dot dot 24 with our negative tell command dot dot 24 with our negative play sound command and then this is where things change up here for the clone barrel we're going to execute as a player within a radius of five scores equals money equals 25 dot dot so anyone with 25 points at NTD type equals NPC in a radius of 5. So at the NPC's position that we're buying from, we're going to run a clone command, tilde tilde, negative 2 tilde, tilde tilde, negative 2 tilde. So that's going to choose that barrel that's two blocks under the NPC, and then we're going to go tilde tilde, negative 3 tilde, and it's going to load it right underneath the barrel in that empty spot that we have. Then we're going to write execute as a player within a radius of five scores equals money equals 25 at entity type because NPC in a radius of five so that exact same thing but this time we're going to run a execute fill command and it's going to be tilde tilde negative three tilde 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 negative three tilde air brackets destroy so that's going to break that barrel that's underneath the NPC and we're going to run another execute as a player within a radius of five scores money equals 25 and we're going to execute that at the NPC within radius of five and this is going to be a kill command so we're going to run kill entity type equals item name equals barrel and then I did x equals tilde y equals tilde negative three z equals tilde so that's selecting the barrel that's going to be floating underneath this NPC and killing it that way the players don't receive a barrel needlessly and then this next one is execute at p within a radius of five scores equals money equals 25 dot dot at entity type equals npc within a radius of five we're going to run a teleport command and we're going to teleport at entity type equals item and then we're going to do that same thing there x equals tilde y equals tilde negative three z equals tilde and then we're going to teleport them to a player within five blocks so what that means is after we've killed the barrel whatever was inside the barrel is going to be left floating there as an item and we're going to teleport those items to the person who just purchased them so they appear right in their inventory and then we're going to run the same commands that we ran the last couple of times after the player received the item so we're going to run a positive tell command tell at initiator scores equals money equals 25 fire bow was received and then you can see i have a play sound command play sound random dot level up at initiator scores equals money dot 25 and then now we've ran off screen here so we're going to jump back into this this NPC over here he has the same thing at the end of his so after the play sound command in the bottom the very last command there is a scoreboard players remove at initiator scores equals money 25 dot dot money 25 that one is also inside of this NPC here as well we just couldn't see it but again I'll put all that stuff in the description and if you guys are having any trouble with NPC shops in general scoreboards in general or you just like this kind of stuff and commands definitely feel free to jump into that shark commander's disc it's a great community over there and it's growing fast as well as throw a like on the video and subscribe over here to Arctic Shark Games I would really appreciate it and as always keep on commanding